Dakota News Now begins with a breaking news alert. One person is dead after police shot a man during a traffic stop in Minnesota earlier today. Good evening everyone, I'm Jenna LaMare. We are starting things off tonight following that officer involved shooting outside of Minneapolis. According to a news release, officers determined the driver had an outstanding warrant. As officers were attempting to take the person into custody, the driver re-entered the vehicle and one officer discharged their firearm, striking the driver. The vehicle then traveled several blocks and struck another car. The driver died at the scene and a female passenger sustained non-life-threatening injuries. There is now a large police presence at the scene and crowds can be seen gathering. According to EMS audio, a police officer was also transported to the hospital after sustaining injuries. This is a developing story and an investigation is ongoing. We are going to turn to Austin now for a look outside and a chilly start to the week. We might actually need kind of a light jacket throughout the whole week. Yeah, it's looking like we're going to actually see those cooler than average conditions at least return for the time being. But the good news is as more and more people are becoming vaccinated for COVID-19, many people are excited for things to eventually return to normal. Those who work for Denny Sanford Premier Center are trying to do their part in bringing some normalcy back to the people of Sioux Falls. Kevin Gonzalez joins us now with more. Good evening, Kevin. Half of South Dakota's population age 16 and over has now received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Health officials opened vaccine eligibility to anyone over the age of 16 on Monday. Nearly 300,000 in total have received at least a single dose of the vaccine, and about 70% of those people have completed their vaccinations. However, Secretary of Health Kim Malsam Risden warns that there has been a 75% jump in COVID-19 infections among people in their 20s over the last six weeks. New data shows that adverse reactions to the COVID vaccine are extremely rare. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is tracking adverse reactions to the vaccine. It says as of April 2nd, fewer than 1 in 28,000 people who receive a COVID-19 vaccine have had a serious reaction. That's less than 0.004%. That includes hospitalizations, life-threatening reactions or death, as well as any vaccine administration errors. The report included data on all three of the COVID-19 vaccines. A man is still recovering after he was assaulted last week while working his shift at the South Dakota State Penitentiary. Cordell Wright spoke with the family members of the victim and has more details for us tonight. Congress is returning to Washington following its Easter break and lawmakers have a full agenda. Among the top priorities on the to-do list, President Biden's infrastructure bill and gun control legislation. A bipartisan group of lawmakers will meet with the president on Monday to discuss the administration's infrastructure plan, which focuses on various areas from road construction to child care and fiber lines for broadband internet. Many Republicans have concerns about the package's $2 trillion price tag. Congressman Matt Gates was denied a meeting with former President Donald Trump at his Mar-a-Lago estate this week. According to sources, the Florida congressman who is under investigation for sex trafficking was turned away from meeting with the former president. In Saturday's speech at a Republican National Committee event, Trump did not mention Gates by name. Meanwhile, Gates's speech at a conference for pro-Trump women on Friday was seen as an attempt to reach Trump and his supporters. All right, Austin, thank you all for joining us. Be sure to join Vanessa Thorne Aaron for Dakota News Now tomorrow morning starting at 5. Have a good night.